Hello everyone. Today I am here to share some information about the most common complaint I get to see in my OPD, namely polycystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is characterized by irregular menstrual cycles. By naming irregular menstrual cycles, I mean and it can range any time, anywhere between absent menstrual cycles to prolonged menstrual cycles to irregular menstrual cycles anything like that and it is characterized by infertility this is one of the most important cause for the female infertility third thing it is characterized by obesity and uh, there is increased facial hair growth and they have th oily skin and they also have a thick velvety patchy darkened kind of skin mostly near the neck and it is called as acanthosis nigricans in medical terms so what causes this polycystic ovarian syndrome the exact cause is not known but what we can hypothesize is it is an amalgamation of genetic factors and the lifestyle factors there is increased androgens and insulin resistance in the body of the woman who suffer from polycystic ovaries so what is this insulin resistance insulin resistance means that the body is not sensitive to the amount of insulin which is being produced in their body so the body is forced to produce more insulin to keep the same uh, glucose under check so what are these androgens androgens are the male hormones which are there in a normal female also to an extent but in these women the androgen levels are so much more that they start having increased facial hair growth and oily skin and all that so what can this polycystic ovarian syndrome cause as i told you it causes infertility because of the increased androgens it prevents the egg getting released every month so it affects the menstrual cycles and uh, also causes infertility in this woman so what are the long-term health risks of this polycystic ovary syndrome usually i told you immediately it causes irregular cycles and infertility but uh, on long term because it causes irregular menstrual cycle it is one of the most important risk factors for endometrial cancer at the later date and i told you it causes insulin resistance so it can lead to type 2 diabetes at the later date and since it also causes obesity it's an important risk factor for cardiovascular risk diseases at the later date so how do we treat this polycystic ovarian syndrome Usually the treatment is targeted at the requirement of the woman. The treatment is usually tailored to the need of the woman. Usually a young female who just wants regularization of the cycle, we put them on oral contraceptive pills. The oral contraceptive pills keeps the hormones under control. It regularizes the cycle, also reduces the androgens. Suppose the woman requires to get pregnant, then we put her on fertility treatment. And the most important, single most important uh, uh, factor which can improve the polycystic ovary syndrome is weight loss. Weight loss goes in a, uh, making the polycystic ovary syndrome a little better. I hope you got at least a bird's eye view of what the polycystic